Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for your Saturday episode. Woo, 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 woo. Bob TV baby, featuring the A10 Warthog. Yep, it's almost done. I think I showed you guys all this the other day. Yeah, they got all the tail surfaces mounted, done, hooked up, cockpits all in it, done, hooked up. What's this? That's what I cut out of it. This is the two big pieces. <laughs> and then there's lots of more little ones. <laughs> you know, the same place makes that cockpit that makes that jet. You think it fit. <laughs> you think it just go right in there, man. Oh no. <clears throat> Not even close. Alright guys, come on. Need to quit the loafing. Need to quit the loafing. Let people work, man. Let's go. People see. Now, which ain't gotta go nowhere. <laughs> Thursday, Saturday. Uh, Thursday, Mondays. <laughs> Alright guys, hey I tell you, you guys don't think I gave up on that Thunder Chief just one minute. I actually, I've got to fix this time. I have got to fix. Parts are ordered. Be here soon. Okay, I'm going to line it up with my horn. See my horn right there? My servo horn. Put that stick on there and get it lined up. So, come up here and make a spin some more. See, all this is good, but we've got to remember to cut our slot on that side of my line. Alright, now we've got to come up here that way, go to full down aileron. Can you see that? See? Put this mark right there. Because that's going to be way out here. So, we get it in the right spot. Alright. Oh, that's plastic. That's plastic. A little more plastic. You got some carbon fiber ones, baby. That's another thing I just don't agree with. This is an expensive jet. By the time you go putting two turbines in it, good radio equipment, you got a chunk of money in this jet. Look what the horns it gave you. These are, these are plastic. Now, Balcom had one of these on his little F-16. Remember that when we was in Tulsa? That dude broke. And his rudder started fluttering. And it was fluttering so, so hard we could see the wings doing this and Obalco panicked. Remember that? So I said, calm down, John, calm down. Let's throttle down. He was still going too fast. He goes, man, the whole, the wings, the rudder was shaking so hard the wings were doing this. Obalco started panicking. He said, it's going to come apart. It's going to come. I said, John, slow down. And uh, he backed off the throttle and handed me the radios and landed. <laughs> Remember that? Remember that? Well, that was that same war. It was in that Skymaster F-16. Two lines going on there. So there was just no way I'm putting plastic cord on this thing. You know what I mean? Well, there now we've got about 10 lines.
be some wood in there, by God. Tell you guys Ron, the guy who owns this jet, is going to come by the shop tomorrow. Now he actually lives in Tulsa. I asked him, I said, well, you want to pick it up? I'm probably have it ready. But his buddy Jason's at a jet meet. He goes, nah, I just want to ride my motorcycle down there and, and uh, get out and go for a ride. And I said, well, come on over. Well, I want to try and get it done because you know, I want it sitting on wheels when it gets here. And... Hey, right. He's going with the Futaba radio. And Jason's got to do all the radio work. So all I can do is that right there. And uh, they got a programming card for these high tech servos. And, So Jason's got to do all the radio work. I just got to put them together. Jason does uh, get me. So he just wants to get out. Get the motorcycle for a ride. Go by the shop. Oh, over. Epoxy and some cotton flock. This is just my five minute epoxy, so we got only got a couple minutes to do this. I mixed up too much. This ain't a bottomless pit in this. <laughs> See, you put that tape on there, that keeps you from getting epoxy all over you because it's really be messy and mash it all in. Don't forget to skim coat your part. 
got to get that wet and get them holes filled. I used to do tile floors for a living. And if you don't turn your trowel upside down when you're spreading your thin set, wood or concrete floors, you turn your trowel upside down and you just get the floor wet with your thin set first. Then you go back and put the notches in, you know, and uh, your tile, other, if you don't, that tile will pop right up. You guys ever seen a tile floor that just came right up? That's probably because they did the skin coat. And uh, he thinks that it's also another reason. For the most of them, that's why. So you gotta skim coat your stuff. Make sure it's wet with the box. Bang it, pull that tape up. No mess. It's beautiful. I'm going to lay it over the ones on the side and over there. what I'm going to do this weekend. No jet meets for me, man. Oh, it's going to be a hot one down there in Waco. It's going to be a hot one. Some Southwest jet meets going on right now. I'll give a shout out to my buddy Jason up there in uh, Illinois. I was at a jet meet this week. Oh, my dang truck, man. I gotta get a head gasket put in it before I hit the big road. I had one estimate. I think he just didn't want to do it, but he was talking like 25 ton. That's if the heads didn't need no work. But I, I just don't think he wanted to do it. That sounded awful expensive to me. <laughs> More, the majority of that was labor, like 2,000 was labor. And then a 400 for a head gasket set. He said it'd almost be easier to pull the engine in that truck. But the, man, the whole, you can see the heads, they're right there. You gotta climb inside, but I don't see a big deal. <laughs> Marcel, I just don't think he wanted to do it. That head gasket sealer is holding fine. You know, all the way from Kentucky to here. Because <laughs> they're having in Kentucky. And I've been driving it all over around town and Bam! Put the horn on that wing, we could stick a fork in it. I'm going to mount all the hard points. You can see where the dow is. See, there's a dow. There's another one. I'm just going to kind of drill in the center. See, they, they did it for the engine. I mean, for that little nacelle. They didn't do it for none of the hard points. See, there's another one. They got dow, you can see it through there, going all the way through the wing. There's one and there's one. There's one and there's one. I'm just going to drill a hole in the center of that one, put the hard point on, then 
uh, put something through there, through the wood, and mark the other hole in case they ain't exactly centered, you know. But there's, at least so I can see where to put them. You know, on the early jets from Skymaster, that F-18, I ordered it with all the hard points and stuff, and there was nothing inside. You know, you're just screwing them to that thin old skin, and it just didn't work very well. But that's what I got going, guys, and I uh, just want to make y'all a quick video, show you what's up in the shop. Ain't did nothing else to the F-4, but I got a surprise, surprise coming. Don't forget about that. More than one, in fact. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. We're at right here in the shop. St. Bob time.